Rock, sand, blistering heat, switchbacks for days, and some high exertion exercise are all gonna be dealt with on our rim to rim to rim Grand Canyon Fast Pack. Hey, I'm Taysen, I'm the founder here at Outer Rattles, and today I'm gonna show you what you need to fast pack through the desert by showing you what I am taking on our rim to rim to rim Grand Canyon fast packing adventure. Not all of these items are available to the general public yet, so consider this a sneak peek into the future of fast packing. We are going to be starting on the south rim of the Grand Canyon, running all the way down to the bottom, up to the top of the north side of the rim, and then back down to the bottom to camp that night. We'll then spend the night and hike out the next day. Day one is gonna be 35 miles plus a ton of elevation which is why fast packing comes into play here. You see, fast packing is when you are running down the hills, jogging the flats, and hiking up the hills, and it allows you to cover more terrain faster. So this trip is really possible because we're covering that extra terrain and being able to get all the way to the North Rim and have that experience. So that enables us to do stuff like this, which is the whole purpose in my mind of fast packing. All right, so let's start with something we don't typically start with, which is camera equipment. And then we're gonna end on the big three where there might be a bit of a sneak peek here. So the camera equipment that I'm going to be taking is my little Aoka tripod with an adapter for a phone. I typically slap my GoPro inside of there. Um, and then as well with the GoPro, I have the ability to mount it to a shoulder strap or a hat. I've got three batteries for the GoPro right here. And that's all of the camera equipment that I'm required to carry. The guy behind the camera might have a little bit more. Hydration is gonna be massive in the Grand Canyon. A lot of people underestimate it, but also there is quite a few water stops or ability to get water is quite easy on the trail. That being considered though, I know that I'm gonna sweat like crazy. I'm gonna set a personal goal here of how much water I can drink in a day. For that reason, I'm still taking three liters. So I've got two one liter smart water bottles as well as some hydro flasks here. Each of these are half of a liter. And then I've got this straw on top, which I do need to go test out today to see if I will take that on the trip. But that is the water that I'll be carrying. These will be on uh, my front side here so that I can quickly drink those as we're going because that is gonna be absolutely critical to feeling good by the end of the day. Clothing wise, I will have an extra pair of socks. These are some darn tough socks, as well as I'm gonna start the trip with some gingies on my feet to begin with. I've got some wool liner gloves. We're gonna be starting off really early in the morning and it will be cold on the top. So I will have some gloves to start running with and for that night. I'll take a change or a pair of running shorts that I can change into, um, whether mine just get too sweaty or whatever, but it's nice to have something to sleep with and maybe start the next day with. I will have a second altitude hoodie. These things are only four ounces. So um, really nice to be able to change into that at the end of the day and have a warm, clean t-shirt um, or hoodie, I should say, to sleep in at night. Up here, I've got a Ventus, an olive green Ventus um, for camp at night. And this right here is a windbreaker that I'll be trying out. Um, and I won't say anything more about that. So you guys have seen this before. This is my emergency kit and we'll put a link here to the video um, if you wanna see everything that's inside there. There are bathroom stops along the way, but I'm still gonna take a little bit of um, tissue. And then I've got a slightly different hydration piece that I'm trying out. Um, I've used the Catadine Be Free, Be Free filters for a long time, but this time I'm going to be taking the Platypus Quick Draw. Um, it's got some interesting features. I have not enough experience to talk anything more about that, um, but that's what I'll be taking as well as the dirty bag for that. So in my cook system here, I have the usual. Now that it winter's over, I've gone back to my alcohol stove setup. So Tokes Titanium Long Handled Spoon. And here I've got the Tokes um, Alcohol Stove and my three sections. Um, that I stand my pot up on. Obviously, I've got my titanium pot right here with the counters on the inside. It'll be super helpful. And then this right here is uh, an old bottle of bug juice. You can pick these up at your local gas station. But this has actually been a pretty good way to carry um, alcohol. So I'll top this off with a little bit more and that will be how I'm gonna transport my alcohol. This system right here has been my favorite cook system for quite a while, a few years now. And if you wanna get this stuff at discount, save a little bit of money and get some rebates back, you can join the membership to get those inside of the member exclusives. To go along with my first aid kit, another big part of safety is to have my Garmin inReach that I'll be able to text message out or connect with anyone if there are emergencies on the trail. I tend to sunburn, so I've got some some screen right here. This is just a face stick that I typically like to use. Every other part of my body will have like a hoodie on and my legs I just don't worry about. But I also have a little bit of um, chapstick. chapstick. Took me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> These right here are my sunglasses. These are some Redfin sunglasses. I really like those. Um, super lightweight. 
and then we've got the big three here. But this technically wouldn't have to be considered one of the big three. This is a 40 inch, 40 inch eighth inch foam pad. Um, this is our own. I'm going up the 40 inch to save a little bit of bulk and space. Weight wise, there's not a big savings, but um, on a trip like this, you're just trying to condense everything to make it easier to run with. So the 40 inch is very adequate. And to me, inside the tent, it still covers as much space as I really need to protect underneath my pad. Oh, and I almost forgot, I will be using my Petzl Bindi headlamp as well as my trusty Gerber Dime multi-tool. And really quick, links to everything here on the table will be provided down below. So if you want this entire gear list, check for that. All right, we finally made it to the big three here. So let's open this up. First off, this is actually the dry bag accessory bag um, from the Coda UL. On trips like this, I typically go with the lightest pad that I have. This is a Neo Air, um, Thermarest Neo Air. I don't know, Neo Air. I think that's it. It's the only yellow one that like exists ever. Um, this is a, an exclusive uh, Outer Vitals pillow that I kept from a while back for was a members exclusive. I've got my prototype 40th tent that I'll be taking. And then I've got a 30 degree down top quilt in here. It's gonna show you the red 30 degree. So that is my sleep system. And then you can see here this uh, fast pack. Now I'm not gonna show you too much on that because it is still a little early on, even though I've been putting a ton of miles into that as well as the rest of our team. But you will be able to see a lot more views of that just in the video that will come after this one where we're going through the Grand Canyon and actually executing this trip. So make sure you're subscribed to see that video and get more sneak peeks. So at this point, you've probably picked up on a few of the differences between regular backpacking and fast packing for me. And you're also probably wondering what all of this weighs. I am going a little bit more minimalist on my clothing. I don't have additional sleeping gear really. I don't have long johns or a bigger coat per se because I won't be hanging out as much at camp. We'll be moving a lot of the day. You'll also see differences in how I'm carrying my water. Typically, I've just got much bigger water bottles or additional bladders here, but it, access is a little bit more important when you're fast packing. And there's just not much extra. I'm not taking any luxury items or extras that add a few pounds to my pack weight. So what is my finished base weight here? It is 8.9 pounds. So that's it, that's my base weight without food. I'll do a video about fueling for fast packing later on on this channel. And if you guys wanna see a video on fast packing right now, you can click right here to see our last fast packing trip as a company. And with that, we'll see you guys in the Grand Canyon.